guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Ikra Arshad, and on this channel, I create lifestyle, beauty, fashion, makeup videos of that sort. And if you're interested in that and watching more videos like that, please hit subscribe and the notification bell down below to join this forever growing little family on the internet on YouTube. Um, so today I'm back with part two of my empties from 2019. If you're interested in where I've been, if this is the first video you've seen of me in a long time, I have got another video explaining this. Um, if you're interested in that, um, I will link it up in the card up there. And also it's always at the end, like the end of this video will be on there as well as the end screen. So if you're interested, you can watch that first. Um, but yeah, if you're not interested, you just want to see the skincare empties, that's fine. It's just if you're interested in where I've been, I've already explained that, so I won't be doing that again. But this was a two part video because I had a lot of empties built up from last year because this is my first video on YouTube after several months. So it's empties from 2019, but I'm filming them now in 2020, so I don't, it's fine. It's still products I like and I, some I don't like, but it's still empty, so I'm still gonna film it. So the last video was hair care because I had a lot of hair care products and I explored a lot with hair care. This one is kind of skincare, face and body, and then also one random like fragrance product. I don't know why, but I'm just throwing it in here. If you didn't know, I'm obsessed with skincare. You know this about me already. I have dehydrated, um, oily skin which is acne prone because I have hormonal acne I have done for several years um I have been to dermatologists about this I've taken very meds for it I've done both medication um which includes antibiotics birth control I've done herbal medication like hemo hem homeopathic medication um I've just left it be I've done a bunch of different things I've used different skincare topically like I've done everything but I still have hormonal acne I've changed my diet all of that you know it's fine I'm just probably forever gonna have hormonal acne but that's kind of the gist of my skin I have hormonal acne on my body too so I do to pay a bit more close attention to my body skincare as well lately um so I have a bunch of empties for that what I'll do first is talk about the body ones just because I only have two products for the body ones now the first one is the body wash that I've been using a lot lately um originally I remember if you guys have been watching my channel for a while at some point sometime last year or maybe the year before that I don't remember I used to say that I used to use two different body washes one for my entire wash to wash my entire body one time and then at the end of my shower after I'd rinsed out my hair and everything I would go in again with the second one just on my acne area so my back shoulders chest um and arms a little bit like here I would go in a second time just to make sure I cleansed up all the hair products from my body because hair products on body can cause clog to the skin causing breakouts further that's something I don't do anymore because of the way my shower routine works now I do my entire hair products put my hair up either into a shower cap or tie it up and then I do my entire body then I'm done put my hair up in a microtable microfiber towel and I'm done so my hair my shower routine works out differently now so I don't need two products now if that makes sense but I still sometimes cleanse twice just to make sure I'm really getting into the acne areas um because sometimes they're a bit harder to scrub out and get into um so this is the body shop tea tree skin clearing body wash I've been using this for the last I would like to say eight months to a year maybe um it's been quite a while since I've been using this um my mom is a body shop at home consultant so she does get lots of discounts on products um and that's why I started using it originally because I'm just like they have a body wash in the the tea tree range of body shop my mom gets a discount let me just use it After, over time i just found that i like it um it's really nice at cleansing my skin it's still gentle it doesn't sting i can use it all over my entire body um and it helps in the acne areas too like it's not like tea tree doesn't necessarily do much for my skin if that makes sense some people swear by tea tree but the most important thing is that i don't get irritated by it because it is essentially an essential oil and some people are affected by essential oils and um like sensitive to them i don't think i am necessarily because i haven't been so far just fine the last year or so so um no negative effects by using tea tree for me personally it just doesn't do much either so it's just a nice cleanser for the body um i've been using it for about a year now and that's why i'm going to be venturing out soon so um i wanted to talk about this um i'm going to be venturing out to my body products again i'm going to be reworking them again because i've been using the same ones for quite a while now and i feel like my body's kind of stuck my body acne is just kind of stuck at the same place it's not improving um it's not really necessarily getting any worse but it's not improving i still get the random breakouts that i get same amount the ones i used to get but i don't get any better so i'm thinking of something new um if you guys have any advice at all on body acne um specifically body washes and body scrubs let me know in the comments because i'm struggling i don't exfoliate my body as often as i should because i can't use sugar scrubs 
like traditional sugar scrubs that you can use on your body now if you didn't know this i feel like it's general knowledge but in case you didn't know the skin is um, tougher on your body than it is on your on your face so usually we say you shouldn't really use heavy intense physical exfoliators on your face because it can tear the skin create micro um, cuts and stuff and that can cause damage to your skin barrier um, whereas on your body I feel like you can get away with more like sugar scrubs and a bit like tougher beaded scrubs not that I tend to use beaded ones I used to use sugar scrubs because they dissolve better in the water and stuff and they don't affect green life and stuff when the beads go down the drain and they don't clog and everything and stuff like that but sugar scrubs is what I used to use um, but the thing is with my skin because I have body acne pretty much on the entirety of my back most of my chest area and my shoulders it's quite sensitized so that scrubbing motion from the sugar um, causes sensitivity, it causes redness, it causes anti-inflammatory inflammatory responses, it gets quite irritated and stuff. So I don't really use scrubs, I pretty much use this on a loofah and scrub gently to exfoliate but it's not the best exfoliator I don't think. And then I use sort of like um, something else I'm going to talk about later in the video um, for the skincare, the body skincare stuff to exfoliate kind of like a liquid exfoliator but it's not the best I don't think because it's not made for body so if you guys have any tips on any like body stuff that's not a physical exfoliant let me know in the comments because I'm struggling and any body washes too that might be good for body acne something that's just not fragranced because this does have fragrance in it too um, and obviously the tea trees and essential oil I feel like now I feel like even though it's never really desensitized my skin or anything like that it's never caused any problems I just want to avoid fragrance my body care stuff just because it's safer for um a little um area down below our feminine parts it's better for your feminine area to not use fragrance because she is a self-cleaning mechanism um we don't need to put fragrance products up there it'll just infect it'll just create more problems in the long run for you so that's another reason too i've never really talked about sort of like feminine health on this channel so i do apologize for being awkward about it but it's, it's not something you should be awkward about because we all go through it but yeah so um this is the empty i loved it for the last year but probably won't be buying it again i have one bottle left and i won't be buying it again really i'm just using it up now while i figure out what i'm gonna do so yeah Okay, so the second product is um, the one I was talking about. Um, it's the Cosrx One Step Original Clear Pad. Cos um, I just said Cosrx. Original One Step Original Clear Pad from Cosrx. Um, it's technically facial skincare, but the reason why I'm cleaning it easier because I use it on my back and my chest and my arms for my acne area because it's supposed to be like for. Um, clearer skin because it says here the facial toner gently wipes out excess oil keeps the complexion clear refined and well balanced um so it, it there's nothing in there now but like they were like little pads that's coated in the solution and i would use about two to three of them on the entirety of my back when i got out of the shower like the first thing i would do once i got out of the shower i damp my like damp dry my skin like not fully like pat dry um, I make sure it's mostly dry because this product's staying on, it's not being washed off or anything but it's like a BHA so it um, exfoliates underneath the skin, it doesn't need to be washed off or anything it's a, acid, it's a possible chemical exfoliant, I was trying to think of the word chemical exfoliant um, and I use it by two or three of them, wipe across my whole back, uh, my arms, my chest and yeah pretty much that I wouldn't use it anywhere else just on those areas because that's where my most acne is and yeah it's technically made for the face so i feel like it doesn't penetrate enough in the body um very good product i might try it on my face i've never used it on my face before but maybe i'll buy it again and try it on my face who knows it might be good at the current moment i'm using a different exfoliant for my face so maybe not now from ne i'm using a different one from neogen so maybe not for now but i could try it again in the future on my face for my body because like i said the skin on the body is more tougher i feel like you need something a bit stronger to penetrate the skin it's done a great job like I could see when it picks up the dirt that like I thought I'd washed off but clearly I hadn't so clearly I need a better cleanser for my body too because it's not cleaning off the entire dirt off my skin clearly because this pads would come back a little bit dirty still I'm just like I literally just washed my skin what's happening so um I could see that but I don't know how much it's helped the actual actives in here and how much it's actually exfoliated my skin um because I can't tell because it's my back and everything just is a bit weird i can't tell what's going on i'm always struggled with it and i just don't know how to understand my back skin um body skin but yeah i just wanted to include it in my empties because it is an empty it's done i literally only finished it 
a few days ago I believe I think it was on Sunday or something I finished it um, so I thought I'd actually include it because I knew I was going to film this empties video sometime this week so I thought I'll include it in there so yeah this is a more recent empty but I did start using it last year I used to start using it sort of towards mid to end last year but yeah and I got through it very quick because it's made for your face and you only use one pad like once or twice a week whereas I was using two to three pads once a week I was only doing once a week mind you um I wouldn't use it more often like even though I'm showering more often in between I would only use it like once or two, maybe once a week max like on a Sunday shower day I would use it because like I have days when I sometimes shower and wash my hair like on a full wash day where I'm doing my hair my body everything like a full full blown day Sunday's a good day because it's like a weekend you're home alone like you're not going anywhere and stuff like that that's why I do everything on those days usually which included this um but I feel like I wasn't getting results from it just and that's not the product fault at all this product is a really good product it's really well raved it's made for your face and I feel like it would work really well on my face but for my body not so much so I definitely need some help with some chemical exfoliants for my body or just something that'll exfoliate my body that's not going to irritate it like a sugar scrub or something like that so yeah help me out guys I need desperate help but if you want to try this for your face definitely recommend because it's really good people rave about it all the time for the face if you just google it on youtube you'll find so many videos of people reviewing it it's it's a good product cosrx is a good brand you guys know i love cosrx i've used them for two years or so now so yeah the last skincare product for my body is a moisturizer so like a lotion this is the neutrogena hydro boost body gel cream it's this one and it's called normal to dry skin and it goes it's inspired by face care advanced hydration with hyaluronic hyalur <laughs> hyaluronic acid um, and it says it instantly introduces quenches for clinically proven supple radiant skin. This is my only moisturiser that I've been using on my body for like the longest time. Um, and that's because although it does have perfume in it, it's literally like the last ingredient on the list. So it's never bothered me in that way. Um, it's really moisturising, but it's a gel cream. So it's like creamy, but also kind of like gel. I don't know how to describe the texture to be honest, I really don't. But it's really good. This is like my, this was my first bottle I believe. And now I'm on my second bottle, I keep it over there, you can't see it, but it's back there. I'm on my second bottle now, which is almost done now. So it's, this one lasted a really, really long time, that's the good thing. Um, I would use it every time I showered. After this, or if I didn't use this, when I come straight out of the shower, I would use this. Once again, pat dry, still keep a little bit of water on my skin, not too much. Put this in all over my body, pretty much everywhere. I would moisturize everything, guys. Full back, arms, stomach chest legs everything with this and it's great um it's made my skin feel really nice not too dry i don't have dry skin on my body necessarily but it's just helped keep everything under control make sure nothing gets too scaly and flaky and everything so yeah i really recommend this um i never used to like neutrogenas especially with the face products i've never really got on well with neutrogena face products this is their first time i'd used a body product from their range and i liked it a lot and i've repurchased before and i would have to repurchase again but once again, I am looking into something fully, fully fragrance free now for my body because I just want to eliminate any possible chance of fragrance with my body. Even though I know my skin doesn't necessarily, isn't sensitized by fragrance, I still want to try and avoid it. And this has hyaluronic acid in it too. It's um, Glycerin is the second product. Um, so yeah, it has got hyaluronic acid in there. Where is hyaluronic acid on the glycerin? Obviously, oh my God, I'm losing it. Wow. It's got glycerin, it's got um, petroleum, which is fine. I know some people don't like petroleum, but if you want to lock in moisture, when you're using something like hyaluronic acid, you want to lock in the moisture too, because hyaluronic acid, the way it works, it takes the moisturize from moisture from the air. So if it notices that your body is more moisturized than the air, if that makes sense. I don't like to explain it in proper words, but I know how this is the science works in my head, but I don't like to explain it in words. It can take more moisture from your skin if that makes sense um essentially causing the opposite to happen so it's not going to hydrate it's going to dry you out instead so you do need to lock it in so petroleum is good locking in it's like a good occlusive it locks everything in barrier it's got dimethicone which is fine um i don't like dimethicone on my face but i don't mind it so much on my body um face actually is not too bad only in makeup skincare dimethicone for some reason never bothers me but dimethicone in makeup bothers me so much if you guys remember my whole venti situation Ooh, child, that was that was that was not fun. That video will be up here too because that was an interesting video. But domestic holding foundation and stuff like that just doesn't go well with me. So, but in body care, not so much, and sometimes more skincare, not so much either. Um, yeah, it's got sodium hyaluronate. It's got ethylexy glycerin. It's got glycol. It's got 
sodium pyloacrylate, sodium hydroxide, and purple. That's the only words I can understand. I can't understand most of the words in there, but it's a really good body moisturizer. I do recommend it if you've got dry skin, or not like incredibly dry skin, because I feel like if you've got like cracking dry skin, like really, really dry, like Sahara Desert dry, it might not be too moisturizing for you, but if you've got just like normal, Kind of skin that you just want to moisturize and make sure you keep moisturized or if you have a little bit of dry skin like i have dry patches because of the acne so it works for that sort of thing so yeah okay lastly is the facial skincare i have one two three four five products for that so we'll go in the order that they're supposed to go in which is toners first this is the benton aloe and bha skin toner it was really nice it smelled really good it has really good ingredients in it um it has aloe vera it had bha um it was snails it was snail it was, yeah bha was 0.5 percent um it had aloe leaf juice and aloe leaf extract it has snail secretion filtrate hyaluronic acid and beta glucan um and the natural preservatives as well and it goes it's slightly uh, acidic and it's designed for daily use and it's dermatologically tested first time i'd use benton products um really impressed with it the only reason i didn't buy it again um was because um i didn't notice too much of a difference with it like it didn't really do much it was a nice toner it made my skin feel nice it prepped my skin really well for all the right next the next products i was using after this um but it didn't do a lot in terms of like the bha -ness. like i don't feel like it did much there like it didn't exfoliate my skin like BHA is supposed to I didn't feel, notice too much of a difference snail secretion and the aloe did really well in moisturising though it did that, it hydrated and moisturised but it didn't really do much otherwise um, which is the main reason I wouldn't buy it again because it is a little bit on the pricey side especially because I have to order all my Korean skincare like from abroad obviously like I did from Soko Glam which is America or Yes Style which is like Hong Kong based so it's expensive so I wouldn't repurchase it for that reason but it's a great toner if you just don't care for the a bha in there if you're not really bothered if you just want a good hydrating toner it's good for that i used to use it on a cotton pad um because it had like a pumpy thing um but you can totally just pump it into your hand and like pat it in as well i just used to use it on a cotton pad because that's the way i like to use it um so yeah that's that the other toner is the one i'm still using now i'm on my third bottle i believe this is the aqua 5.5 licorice ph balancing cleansing toner this one you can't see the bottle very clearly i don't know if you guys can see that you probably won't be able to see that very clearly i haven't really been focusing on the products have i sorry about that guys i haven't really been showing you them properly but um this is for sensitive skin apparently and it says in the bottle aqua korean traditional demo cosmetic brand for stressed and sensitive skin uh, by using the root that helps a fundamental improvement of skin aqua contains highly enriched complex of oriental herbs Orient originated by Korean intrinsic efficacy. I don't know what that means. Um, Aqual's exclusive complex is covered by something that so I can't see. Made highly refined oriental herbs based on the formula of the intrinsic Korean ingredients derived from nature, herbal formula for skin disorders. Most importantly, I really like this toner. It balances the skin out like it's supposed to. I use it as a cleansing toner, as it says. I use it on a compound, cleanse morning and night. I do it for both. I use this one toner for morning and night. It works for me perfectly. Um, I feel like my skin really likes the licorice root as well. Um, it moisturizes. I do notice some changes in the licorice root. I think maybe it's the licorice root that's caused um, some brightening effect on my skin because I feel like it naturally brightens, doesn't it? It does. Um, they say it hydrates and refines the skin texture. Um, so yeah, it's got like literally shoot water in there. It's got um, glycerol, glycerin in there. It's got um, what else has it got? Let me see. It's got different root extracts and flower extracts. Yeah, so it's got a lot of good ingredients. Like I'm not fussed with the ingredients at all, but I really like it. I still use it. Um, it doesn't cause sensitivity. It doesn't cause my eyes to water because sometimes if it get too close, like even like around here, my eyes will start watering. It doesn't cause that. So that's perfect it's really good um so yeah i enjoy this and it's got a ph of 5.5 which is very close to the skin's natural ph balance i think skin is around four to five i believe if i remember correctly four to five most people most standard normal people like people with normal skin like nothing too damaged or anything or like that will have like a ph of four to five roughly so yeah it's a really nice toner i really enjoy it i still use it till this day so i clearly enjoy it <laughs> 
Kate. Then we have two moisturizers. One's a day moisturizer, one's a night one. Um, I tried to get everything out of that. There's still some product on the side here, but I really could not get it out. This is the Etude House Sun Jung Ten Free Moist Emulsion Cream. Um, so it's an emulsion, um, which it's kind of confusing because I don't understand how that works. Like they had a emulsion, they had a lotion, they had a cream, they had different things in their range. I think the emulsion is the lightest one out of all of the moisturizers, and it works perfectly for my skin. It's like a no frills moisturizer it's lightweight it's moisturizing enough it's hydrating it's good for sensitive skin it's got no fragrance nothing like that um this is actually house is like no fragrance like it's supposed to be like good because it's supposed to be free of all these different things which i can't do because it doesn't say on the back of here and um i can't read the korean um but it's supposed to be pure and mild and um, create improvements to your skin and be free of these 10 things but i can't remember what they are now at the top of my head but it's free of a lot of bad things in not bad things but like potentially sensitizing things so it's good for sensitive skin or like troubled skin like when my acne is blaring up this soothes so much nicely it soothes my skin it hydrates it nicely it's not too oily or greasy it it's just a basic moisturizer really but i like it i like it a lot i used it a lot during summer because summer also your skin's my, my skin specifically is more oily because of sweat and everything but in the winter it works too as well like i, work, I use it in the winter during the day and it's fine later like, in my sunscreen. screen it's still like the winter right now it still moisturizes me enough i have it on my skin right now everything feels good yeah it's like a no frills moisturizer like i said it's one of those moisturizers like I, it'll be part of my basic routine if i'm ever having troubled skin i know i can go back to this easily and it won't cause me any problems 100 it won't cause me any problems at all and i can happily go back to it so i like that about that i know this will always work for me it's just not gonna cause me any problems at all so i like having a few products like that so like this there's this there's this toner the aqua one there's a couple of things that i know work for me so it means if my skin is freaking out when i'm trying different things because sometimes you just want to try new products and i'm doing that right now i'm trying new products but if i start freaking out i know if i just strip it back to my bare minimum products which includes this my skin will be fine it'll be able to recover itself again so that's what i like about this it's one of those go-to products that will always work for my skin i feel so very happy i found this the soon jung line soon jung long in general is a really good line i haven't tried everything from the line this was the first product i tried and i just stuck to it but i'd be very happy to happy to try the other products in the line too i just haven't yet so yeah um that's that the last cream moisturizer is um the vitamin e from the body shop nourishing night cream i still use this till date again um it's oh, it's a really intense moisturizer i won't lie and most people might find it quite heavy but I feel like at night I don't mind if my skin's feeling a bit greasy because I'm just going to bed so I really lather this on on the last step of my skincare routine um vitamin E is good because it's like it replenishes it helps protect the skin um and it moisturizes too but this is one of those products that I've been using for a very long time like almost two years so I think I'm gonna start veering away from this to find something that's fragrance free once again um or with less fragrance because this definitely does have fragrance in there not that it's irritating once again but I just want to prevent as much as i can like just have as little fragrance as possible in my skincare routine just for preventative measures really so yeah um really good starting moisturizer it's simple it's basic it does its job it does what it's supposed to do it moisturizes and protects your skin it's as simple as it's really a simple moisturizer and it does just that so that's why i'm impressed with it and i like using it i've been using it for like two to three years now i think consistently like i use it every single night i've bought so many little tubs of this once again because my mom's a body shop at home consultant we do get a discount for it that's part of the reason i buy it but also just because it works for my skin it's never affected me adversely like it's never caused me breakouts or anything like that so I've, I've never complained about it so yeah but i will be looking into different night cream from now on um it's just i'm going to continue using this until i use it up because i have a tub i'm on my last i'm finishing the current tub i'm on right now and then i have one more tub that's stocked up after that so i won't be buying any more after that for myself but yeah um it's a really good moisturizer if you're like new to skincare body shop skincare range is actually really good like they have different ranges and their skincare products are like usually fairly simple and easy to use they don't cause reactions to most people like some people might get reactions from like the, like the fragrance and stuff but overall like they're really good products to use and i recommend them a lot so yeah this was the vitamin e one the night cream then we have a sunscreen this is the last of the skincare products now this is the misha all around safe block essence sun milk spf 50 um pa three pluses um yeah that's that um it's an essence 
Mist Infused formula apparently, that's what it says on the back. Um, I've been buying this for the last two years, it's been my sunscreen. If you know me, or if you don't know me, you should know this. I use sunscreen religiously every single day, morning, every day, winter, summer, rain or shine. Doesn't matter what the weather is, I am using sunscreen every single day without fail. If I'm leaving the house, even if I'm not leaving the house, I will still use sunscreen. I might just not use as much of it, but when I'm leaving the house, oh, definitely cannot leave the house without sunscreen. Final step on my morning skincare routine has been for this last three to four years or something now. I don't know how long. This specific one I've been using for about two years probably, I think. Maybe viewing into three years. It's my most favorite one. It's watery, it's milky, it's like an essence. Um, it's easy to blend on the skin, no white cast whatsoever. It's moisturizing too, so if I feel like my moisturizer wasn't enough to moisturize my skin, this is an extra backup as well, it's really nice. Yeah, I can't claim the benefits of the sun protection part because that's the long-term thing, but I feel like the more you use sunscreen and the more you use it regularly every day, your skin will reap the rewards of that over the years. Like as you age, you will less likely to age quicker because sun can age you, sunspots, skin cancer, or that sort of stuff. So I can't claim that side of it, but it definitely is a good sunscreen. It doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel oily, it doesn't leave a white cast on the skin. It's like an essence of watery, milky, runny, runny kind of texture, texture. So I enjoy it a lot and I will consistently buy this one. I'm using a new one by La Roche-Posay right now because I'm waiting for my backup of this to come. It's being shipped from Yestal and that takes a little while because Yestal is based in Hong Kong. So yeah, but um, I do consistently use this it's my favorite ever korean skin sunscreen i found just sunscreen standard like korean sunscreens are a different level they're aesthetically made like they're made so beautifully the formulation of them is just another level they're another world and i'm so glad that i found korean sun skin sun korean skincare as a whole but also korean sunscreens i'm so glad i found them so yeah um that was the last skincare product um so you as i just said i was talking about your start Oh, should I finish my last product? Oh, it's just my last product, I'll talk about it. It's the Body Shop Green Tea and Lemon Body Room and Linen Spritz. It's just a spray, it's a fragrance spray. It smells so good. Um, and I used it on my bed sheets all the time or like in the morning, like when I made my bed, I'd spray it on my bed, put my, put my, make my bed and then go off my day. Um, it smells really good. I've got a candle in this exact same scent from Body Shop and it smells really good and I just wanted to share that it smells really good and I liked it and I'm gonna rebuy it soon. I haven't for a while, but I'm going to. It smells really good. I like green tea and lemon. The combination is so refreshing. It's really nice. So yeah, I just want to include it. It's just random. Yeah, so that's all my skincare empties. I did talk about Yestal a little quickly at the end there with um, a lot of my skincare. As you might have noticed, a lot of my skincare is Korean skincare and I do buy a lot of my skincare online, specifically from Yestal. Now, obviously not everyone is comfortable buying online, especially from websites like Yestal, um, but I do rave about it a lot. And I just wanted to make you guys aware that I do actually, I'm now, um, I'm now actually a partner with um, like an influencer partner thing with Yestal um, because of the content I kind of create on here and the content I create on my Instagram. Um, I did pass that when I applied for it. So I do actually have a discount code now. So I will leave my discount code down below in the description. So if you ever want to buy items and you just want to use a discount code, go ahead. Like I do get some sort of benefit out of that. So you don't have to use it if you don't want to. I just thought if you want to save a bit of money um, because if you're buying a lot of skincare or even just like anything from your style, it can build up very easily. I end up buying like 10 pairs of like cute earrings at like a pound each and I end up waste spending so much money. So you can easily build up. So a bit of a discount is always nice. I will leave my discount code below that discount code down below i believe it's 10 percent off but i will clarify in the description um yeah and um i will link all my products as always i always do i'll try and link the websites that i find are the best price for them um affordability wise like i'll try and find the best price because sometimes something might be cheaper on yes or sometimes it might be cheaper on different websites i'll find whichever is the best but i'll link that regardless and yeah that was my skincare empties and i hope you guys enjoyed that if you did please give it a thumbs up because it lets me know that you like these type of videos if you like skincare videos and you want me to make more of them let me know in the comments and in general give me comments of sort of requests if you have any type of videos you'd like me to create and yeah um thank you very much for watching this video and thank you so much to all my loyal subscribers and viewers who have stuck by me in this little drought that you've had for the last four months i am back now hopefully i won't make any promises to how frequent i can be i'm just very busy my job is stressful I work 40 plus hours a week and I'm never home. Um, I come home and I like go to sleep. <laughs> I eat and go to sleep and the day just starts again. It's such a sad life. Um, but I'm making money. So that's fun. 
you know, making money, paying bills, it's all good. So yeah, but I will try and be more frequent if I can this new year. Um, it's a brand new year, great year to be being more, creating more content. Content creation is just keeps getting bigger and bigger and I've been doing this for almost seven years now. So it's fun, I can't let go of it. I don't think I'll ever be able to let go of content creation of some sort in some way. Um, it's really close to my heart. I've been doing this since I was a teenager and I'm now a grown adult. I am 23 years old guys, I turned 23 in December, it's mad, <laughs> I feel, I'm feeling the age slowly, um, it's mad, like life is just passing by, um, but yeah, anyways, thank you very much for supporting me guys, I love you all so so much, um, finger hearts for you, I always give you finger hearts because I don't know how else to show my love to you, I love you guys so much, head heart, um, and thank you very much for watching, I will catch you guys on my next video, toodles guys, toodles, bye! But sometimes I just want somebody to talk